stop on our tour of Bolivar Peninsula, Crystal Beach, Texas, is Fort Travis, historical marker and fort. I'd like to say I'm sorry for all the wind, but we are at the beach. Fort Travis is located right at the mouth of the harbor and the intercoastal waterway here in Texas. And you can see all the ships that are lined up waiting to enter the port. It's like this all the time. Every time we've come down here, there have been ships just lined up, sitting out here at the mouth of the harbor and the intercoastal waterway. The bunkers that are here and still standing are what the uh, soldiers use to guard the entrance to the intercoastal waterway and the port of Galveston. And you can see Cindy and the puppies. They are enjoying their time here at Fort Travis. The dogs have had a great time exploring the beach area. It has been just a really fun time here on Bolivar's Peninsula. We wish we really could be able to go inside the fort like we did when we were down at Fort Moultrie at the Isle of Palms in South Carolina. But this fort is not open on the inside, but the grounds are so beautiful, it's definitely worth coming by and seeing. And I just cannot get enough of looking at all these ships out in the main channel there. From right here, you can see some of the beautiful beach houses that are located on Bolivar Peninsula. This is located right next to Fort Travis and they have just an unbelievable view of the water. There is a lighthouse here at the point of Bolivar's Peninsula. It's no longer in service and it is privately owned so unfortunately you can't go uh, take a tour or climb it but it is uh, still beautiful. They've taken the regular markings off and have painted it a solid color. I'm told by the locals that so the boats will know that it is uh, decommissioned. The owners still put a small light up top, but it's nothing bright enough to steer your, your boat by. And here at the end of the bay, they've got a ferry that goes over to Galveston and there is one of the ferries right there getting ready to launch have a playground here. There's a lot to do here at this park. There's several little towns here on Bolivar's Peninsula. Crystal Beach is where we stayed at the Boulevard Peninsula RV Park. Um, so there's plenty to see down here and plenty to do. We're going to take you real quick for a quick tour down by the, uh, the ocean side of the peninsula and the bay side of the peninsula and we found some interesting options for camping too that we'll share with you so when i said there was some interesting camping options we're on olive street in crystal beach two blocks from the ocean and this person right here has their fifth wheel parked up underneath a uh, raised deck with a porch and it's got two lots on it and we actually called the real estate company because it's for sale and for both lots the fifth wheel 
and the improvements to the property, you can get two blocks from the beach for $180,000 and have free camping. Here's a shot from the other side of the property. So you got a nice little deck up there. Two lots. I'm told the lot, the extra lot can be sold off for uh, thirty to forty thousand dollars. The other lots also got sewer and electric on it already. And um, these are all over this peninsula. And it's just a really a crazy idea. We've never seen it before, but we're thinking when we slow down in about 20 years, we may get us a place, place at the beach and keep the camper. Two blocks down from the house that we were just at, or the camping um, area we were just at, is the entrance to the beach. Now, if you don't have a sticker on your car, which you can buy at any of the local stores, you're not allowed to park your car. But, you can, yeah, here's the sticker sign. I got it. Here's the sticker sign. But you are allowed to drive on the beach without a sticker. So here's the beach side of the property or of the peninsula. You can see here comes a car now. There's lots of cars down here. Sorry about the sun. Way off beach is an oil rig. All right, I'm sorry, I'm in the car trying to drive and do this, but the beaches are absolutely beautiful. And you can see all the houses along the beach. Yep, and Cindy wants me to point out, where is it, the Texas flag. I'm sure somebody did that as a marker for when they're out on the beach to know where their entrance, where they need to exit the beach to get back to their property. This is the first beach we've been to that you can drive on. But it's really beautiful here. So if you hang on a minute, we'll go over to the bay side of the beach or the peninsula. On the bay side, to, on the bay side, there are a lot more of these lots that have campers on them. These actually have docks, boat slips. It's really, really interesting how they do this. Here's a nice little one right here. They've got a pad, they're right on the water. Nice little covered area. It's really interesting, quite an option for camping. Right here in one of the entrances to the bay are these canals. And you can see the campers, they've all got a little lot and they're lined up right here. Sorry about the sun, the sun is setting. But there is the entrance to the canal on the bay side. In case you didn't know it, Texas is the only state that can fly their state flag at the same height as the American flag because Texas is sovereign. This is the bay side of the peninsula. The sunsets are unbelievable. We're here at Stingarees, um, which is a local restaurant, but the views here are beautiful. The water is just gorgeous. And if you look all the way across there, I don't know if you can see the, 
I think that's Galveston over there. And if you come across here, here are the, connect, uh, the campers that are lined up here in this little waterway that's dug in. Boat slips. A lot of neat camping options. Not only do we have these privately owned camp areas that are on the beach side and that are on the, uh, the bay side, I think my wife and I counted 14 or 16 campgrounds here on this peninsula. There's plenty of camping and I understand during the regular season that it is just a, a ton of activities to do. I would highly recommend coming here. We've had a good time. We've been here for two weeks and uh, I think we'll be back next year. Like I said, the sunsets are unbelievable. We enjoy dinner here at Stingeree's. There's the restaurant. And you can sit up on the deck and watch the sunset. We've had a really good time here. Here's another one of those lots I was telling you about. This is on the bay side. Um, not sure how much of a view you have up there, but Here's another example. It's a much older motor home, but they've got a covered porch, a lean-to, a screen porch, and a viewing area for this marsh area that is on the peninsula. Just so many cool camping ideas um, and different ways to live the lifestyle. This is where we're staying. We're staying at the Boulevard Peninsula RV Park. Not a bad little park. Um, I think it's $31 a night for the section we're in. It goes up to, I believe, 47 on the lake. It's got 90 camping sites right on the main drag on 87. Convenient to everything on the island, or the peninsula, excuse me. And uh, we've, uh, we've enjoyed our two weeks here. Show you where we're camped. So there's the old Tiffin, camped right there. We got a good view of the pond. I'll show you that when we get over by the camper. Like I said, um, this is our camper. What's neat about uh, the spot we've got is, uh, I'm gonna climb up on this picnic table and show you, is we have a really nice view from the front of our camper. We get a really pretty sunset here overlooking the pond. And we're more of a sunset than a sunrise person. Um, if you can get Cindy out of bed before 9.30 in the morning, you've done something. I usually get up at 7.45 with the dogs, but you know, the sun's already up and the day's started for most people. I had to come back out and get this uh, rest of this sunset to share with y'all. And it's amazing the way the lines, the clouds are lined up all in a row. Cindy's fighting the wind, trying to get supper on the grill. Wind's winning, supper's losing. <laughs> All right, so Cindy's opening up the Buford stew that we cooked on the grill in aluminum foil packets, and boy, it looks delicious. Thank you for going with us on our ride around Boulevard Peninsula our, um, community, the bay and the beach, the RV life here. There's uh, tons of ways to enjoy the lifestyle, and we've had a really good time while we've been here. Thanks, see you on our next journey. Bye.